ஹாய் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் ஐம் டாக்டர் ஷில்பா ஃபர்டிலிட்டி ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்ட் அண்ட் லேப்டோஸ்கோபிக் சர்ஜன் ஃப்ரம் பேங்களூர் டுடே ஐ வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் அ கிரிட்டிக்கல் டாபிக் வித் யூ ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஹவு டு சூஸ் அமாங் த வேரியஸ் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் இன்ஃபர்டிலிட்டி ட்ரீட்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் ஐயூஐ ஐவிஎஃப் அண்ட் இக்ஸி அண்ட் வாட் வுட் பி த பெஸ்ட் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் ஆப்ஷன் ஃபார் இன்ஃபர்டிலிட்டி கப்பிள்ஸ் டு கெட் பெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த ரிசல்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் விச் இஸ் மோர் காஸ்ட் எஃபெக்டிவ் அமாங் தீஸ் ஸோ லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் ஒன் பை ஒன் The first one is the IUI that is intrauterine insemination. Intrauterine insemination is a simple less invasive form of infertility treatment wherein the concentrated sperms which are made more stronger to be motile to reach the egg and have good fertilization rates by placing the processed sperm into the woman's uterine cavity during the time of ovulation. So IUI doesn't really require many visits to the fertility clinic and it can be even done during natural cycle or it can be done in a medicated cycle the number of injections need not be too many and the monitoring is also not very intense and it is done without anesthesia so iui the success rate generally is about 12 to 15% depending on what is the reason for the fertility so iui is ideal when there is lesser severe problems or when there are mild issues with the woman and the man so it is ideal in situations where the sperm count motility and morphology are slightly lesser than normal or in women who are lesser than 35 years of age who have ovulation happening every cycle or most of the cycle and who have difficulty in having intercourse during the ovulation phase so this generally costs anywhere between 8000 to 20000 depending on how what medications are used what uh, area that you are living in and the fertility clinic based on their pricing so coming to ivf ivf is in vitro fertilization wherein medications that is injections are given to the woman starting from the day 2 or day 3 of the periods where we get multiple follicles and these are monitored over the next 10 to 12 days these oocytes are retrieved using general anesthesia and the retrieved oocytes are mixed with the sperms in the laboratory under very strict conditions and the resulting embryo is placed back into the woman's uterine cavity so ivf is ideal in situations where there is tubal block where there is unexplained infertility where there is milder or moderate forms of severe endometriosis and it helps in getting good rates of fertilization and the success rate is about 35% which is standard all across the world coming to icsi icsi is a highly specialized form of ivf where the medications are given to get more follicles the oocytes are retrieved from the woman under anesthesia and these oocytes are uh, treated by the embryologists in the highly specialized lab where the sperms are injected into these oocytes so the injection of the oocytes by the embryologist with the sperm is one of the highly specialized event which happens during the icsi process and it can be done only by specialized person who is highly qualified and trained in this so this ensures that there is fertilization so the chance of fertilization is maximum when the icsi is done so when do we choose icsi icsi is ideal when there is very poor sperm count very poor morphology very poor motility in the semen the sperm factor otherwise in other parameters both ivf and icsi have almost equal success rate so when icsi is done there may be slightly increased genetic problems to the baby which your fertility specialist will be able to figure out and give you treatment options for that so now again wrapping up coming to iui ivf and icsi what treatment options would be ideal for you so this decision has to be taken along with your fertility specialist after consultation so the treatment option also depends on the age of the patient the 
seven factors the preparedness of the couple to undergo the uh, various forms of treatment and also the affordability so all these when you discuss with your fertility specialist so the fertility specialist will be able to guide you as to what would be the ideal treatment in your scenario and if there is anything you have to openly discuss with your fertility specialist so that you can get the best out of whatever costing that you are willing to spend thank you we'll see you again with my next video